I would like to introduce to you our first panellist, who is Dr Cathy Kesselman. Um, Cathy is a consumer representative. For those of you unfamiliar with that language, that means that she is a person with lived experience of both mental health and recovery, mental illness and recovery. And Cathy's also the president of ASCA, which is Adults uh, Surviving Child Abuse and a former GP. Welcome, Cathy. Thanks, Tina, for that. And I'm uh, very excited to be here and very excited about this era in mental health that we're entering. We're moving away from an illness model to one which is trauma-informed, recovery-oriented and focused on health and well-being. And pivotal to that is the role of consumers and carers, not just as a voice, but people who have a say in the outcomes uh, of issues that affect them. And obviously that's around their lived experience. So this practice placement project is very exciting because what it does is allow students uh, to be placed within services within the community managed sector which are recovery oriented and so which engage with consumers and with carers to allow students to understand that a person's lived experience is the way to work uh, with and from, that people's uh, own aspirations need to be understood uh, that they need to be supported towards recovery to their own definition of recovery, not one imposed by clinical services. Uh, so that's a unique, very unique experience and very exciting to see the potential for this to grow. Uh, I'd really like to commend the, the scoping report put together by Kay Hughes. It's a wonderful <coughs> comprehensive guide for the future, for a sustainable, informed model that allows collaborations, future collaborations, information and structures so that more students will have the opportunity to engage with this process and really understand that true collaboration with consumers and carers is absolutely critical to the mental health of our community. Thank you, Cathy. Um, just a quick question, if I may. Were, were you taught about mental health and recovery as part of your undergraduate medical training? Oh, I'd hate to say that I wasn't. Absolutely not. And uh, nothing has taught me more about mental health than being having my own experience, my own lived experience. And it's really my passion to see that GPs, as I was for 20 years, have the training and the insight to understand um, the issues related to mental health and a person's experience of what happened to them in their lives and why they have the issues that they present with today and that includes physical health issues, mental health issues and the way people engage with themselves, with other people and with the world. Thanks to your support of the project, Kathy. Pleasure. Thank you.